Originally, I did uh, Lorca's uh, Yerma at George Brown College with uh, students there, and uh, drew, drew from a number of translations. And the translations, I found them just simply limiting in uh, the sense of expression that I think Lorca was after his poetry. And he wrote this about Andalusia. You know what Andalusia was like it was a very isolated, mountainous place, uh, hard to get to, cut off from the rest of Spain. Uh, sound familiar? <laughs> and, uh, and so I did ask, is this like Newfoundland? Lorca, you know, uses song and language combined. And, and of course, in Newfoundland, you have storytelling and you have singing and you have home entertainment. And uh, I then said, well, I know someone who's a poet because uh, you need a poet like Lorca and you need a playwright and you need a, um, a, a song person, a musician, and that was Des Walsh. I have a very strong affection for Newfoundland and uh, the way of life there. Because it's so isolated, it's a bit like sort of a, a, um, a particular kind of petri dish, right? If you see human behavior in, a, in extreme circumstances. The, the circumstances, the woman is trapped in this isolated settlement and uh, the pressure for her to um, assume some kind of role uh, as being a mother and so when her procreation is thwarted, um, she, you know, st steps on a tragic horse. And, uh, you know, tragedy is always a revealing thing about what is, you know, um, underneath the skin of human nature. Joan is trying to survive. At the same time, she's getting herself killed. So it's kind of a fascinating story about um, survival and desire. Des has brought that with his language and the storytelling and the jokes and the humor and the sex jokes. People there have a tremendous ability to survive and to keep going on. And I think it's just important that we kind of, you know, always make sure that we hear other voices and bring in other voices. So I think it's very important that we see work from other parts of the country come in. And just to keep us... Mm, open-minded and wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs>